Yeah, it's uh Oh geez, it's about eleven thirty at night and here I am just uh ready to go to bed. Had a big dinner, had a couple of beers, I got the mattress on the floor, there is my feet in the sleeping bag, my couple of coolers, as you've seen that before. Looking around the campsite, it's all the same. Everything's turned off and the door is closed. My Ford sign is the door. It's all closed and I am ready to go to bed uh, tonight. <laughs> I got a couple of rats living uh, under, under, um, under the floor. Uh, today I opened up the floor because I heard a couple of squeak squeaks and I opened up the floor and sure enough there was a rat nest and uh, I took the nest apart but uh, I just heard a squeak squeak a little while ago so they're back they're not going anywhere un until I uh, forcibly uh, evict them one way or another uh, they never last long not not around me they never last long I uh, I'm very good with dealing with the uh, wildlife uh, they come to respect my 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 space and uh, They can have everything outside. They just cannot come inside the campsite if I put it outside You can have it, but if it's inside the campsite It is mine and they come to learn that the raccoons the squirrel the rats uh, I've had run-ins with all of them, but they come to respect and Understand that this is mine. It's not the first rat in here uh, and it might not be the last, uh, but they don't last long. They just don't because I am the man to look after that kind of, uh, uh, what you're talking about wildlife. That's my department. I'll handle that. Thank you very much. Sayonara, Mr. Rat.